Hello YouTube, my name is Danny Mack and this is a tutorial on how I create eyelashes in ZBrush. Okay, so originally I recorded a tutorial where I went through three different methods. Um, I've actually now split this up into three different tutorials just because I want to keep the video length for around five minutes and it was getting a little bit long. Uh, but hopefully by splitting it up this way you can easily find your preferred method later if you need to. Okay, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I generally approach creating the eyelashes in one of three ways and the approach I use depends on where the model's going to end up. Just to give you an idea, and I'm going to hide the bottom eyelashes for this, I'm just going to focus on the top ones. This is generally how I usually do it, and I'm going to explain how in a minute. Here's another way which is kind of a bit more realistic and can look prettier, but does take longer. And then there's this way, which looks similar to the first eyelashes, but when I get into it you'll see there's actually quite a big difference. The way I do this is, I'll mask the area around where I want the eyelash to be making sure not to go over like I've done here so if I've done that I'll just pull it back a bit it doesn't matter if there's a little gap as you'll see in a second it's better to have a gap than to have it going over like this and then what I'm going to do is come over to extract which you'll find in tool, sub tool, extract so tool, sub tool and then extract here and then it seems I've been playing around with the thickness on this model so what I'm going to do is just bring that down okay something like that maybe actually I'm just gonna shorten this because if, if you see it's sort of moving around the eye and I just want to keep it on the top plane so I'm just going to remove that and extract again and accept that so this is what I'm left with. You can see the topology is is not not great. So what I'm going to do is remesh this. But first I'm going to turn symmetry on, which will make the topology symmetrical. And then I'm going to set it at a target of about 1,000. Hit remesh. And then they're looking a little bit thin. So what I'm going to do is come over to deformation and just inflate them a little bit like that. That's fine, they're a little bit thick but you'll see in a second it's quite easy to make them thin. And then what I'm going to do is set my Z remesher to be half. So if I come over here, because you don't have this custom menu, geometry Z remesher, you can just click half and then I'm just going to remesh it a few times until it looks like something I want. Um, what I'll often do is remesh it just one more time and then subdivide it. And I find that usually gives me a bit of a neater result. Okay, so I'm, I'm practically there now. Generally what I do at this point is get my mask lasso and just sort of mask out half of this like so and then just sort of shape it how I want it to be and that masked area is obviously going to stay in place and there we are that's pretty much all there is to it if, if I sort of mess up the topology too much like if I wanted really crazy eyelashes like this then I would remesh it again from there and probably subdivide it first actually because because it's set to half I want to make sure there's enough polygons to play with and then that's it again I'd probably uh, inflate that a bit because it's gone a little bit thin see, see when you remesh it that can happen so remesh that again and if they're too thick I'm just going to grab my pinch brush and just sort of pinch it in like that, turn the intensity down a bit and there we are that's that's pretty much all there is to it I like this method because it's quick and easy quite often what I will do is set it up in this way uh, just to get a quick idea of how the eyes look with eyelashes 
because what you'll find is that once you add the eyelashes it really makes the eyes pop and sort of look more human a lot normal and just sort of progresses the face then later if I wanted to add more details into the lashes I'll come back and do that another thing I occasionally do with these style of eyelashes is subdivide it a few times so subdivide the eyelashes a few times then come in and get the snake hook brush and just sort of you know add a add some lash like details like this and that that can add a nice effect but generally if I, if I want the eyelashes to look like that what I'm going to do is this approach so if I just hide these okay so it was at this point that I started the second method so I'm just going to interrupt the tutorial here I should have the next video available by tomorrow if not the day after that Hopefully I wasn't out of focus too much, I'm still trying to work out how to use the camera properly. But other than that, I hope you've learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.